You know, a lot of times when you fear something, you need to confront your fear. Okay. So I know you have this fear of snakes. your fear of snakes. Yeah, it's not happening, buddy. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to cure it. I just don't want to cure it. I just will stay away from snakes. Isn't it enough for me? We've all seen Michael talk about his fear of snakes again and again, but today he plans to conquer his fear. Joining us uh, to help is co-founder of NLP, Dr. Richard Bandler. Hello, doctor. Hello. Hi. So what is NLP? NLP is the study of successful behaviors. Psychologists look at what goes wrong with you, and we only look at what works. Oh, well, you oh. should be good at that. You're and successful. So we find people that got over fears and found out what they were doing, whether they knew it or not, and related it to how our neurology learns. Do you think Michael will be able to overcome his fear of snakes? I, I think if he pays attention and follows instructions, he'll do just fine. I will let you. So, in uh, other words, if I'm not, it's my fault. Okay, yes, there we go, right. Doc. I like the concept. Okay, <laughs> okay. it's really very simple. Uh, only, uh, you remember when she came out and threw a snake at you? Oh, yeah. Okay, and it scared you, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a great big picture in your mind, right? Yes. And it's moving, and it's moving toward you, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, you and everybody else who's afraid of snakes does that. It's yeah. not just you. Okay, take the great big picture, shrink it down to the size of a quarter, and brrr, blink it black and white. Okay. Okay, got to do it really fast. Okay, big picture, shrink it down, blink it black and white. Okay. Got it? Okay, now, just clear your mind for a minute. Look at me for a second. Now, look back at the picture and try and be afraid. <laughs> I'm good. You're good. Okay. Okay, let me tell you the secret. The secret is, is because it's not the snake that scared you. It was the big, giant picture jumping at you. Yeah. Okay. Now that the picture's out of your mind, I want you to just simply go and make a picture of yourself being terrified of snakes. And the other picture, I want you to see yourself just walking over and touching the snake. Okay. <laughs> which, one, which one would you rather be? I'd rather be I'm terrified of the snake. You'd rather be terrified of the snake? I don't want to go over and touch the snake. Well, when you look at yourself going and touching a snake, do you look afraid? Um, no. Okay, so when you look at yourself not being afraid, what says what makes you think you wouldn't want to do it? Good question. Good question. Let me put it this way. This is something that you've been afraid of for a long time. Yeah. Okay, in fact, even thinking about it, if you spent 10 minutes a day thinking about it, mm -hmm. and you add that up, 352 days in a year, right? You know how much time that is? A lot. A lot. Multiply it by 10 years, 20 years. How about 43 years? Well, how long you planted to live? 103. 103 years, okay. You're talking about an enormous amount of time to worry about one thing okay. that you could be using to do anything you want. The truth is, if you can walk over and touch the snake, it will teach you that you can do anything okay. you put your mind to. We're going to let the good doctor continue working with Michael. We're going to take a commercial break and see if the method works. When we return, deep Dr. Breath, Bandler, cure Michael Slowly of his fear out. of snakes. Now, we are up. going to find out right now. Okay. Take my hand. Everything's going to be fine. Now, just look at the snake, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Walk over, take your hand like this, and just put it on oh, the snake. Forget it. I'll go there. Oh, oh isn't he sweet? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You want to hold it? Wow. Let's not go that far. Okay, okay, okay. That's nice. Okay. He said he doesn't want to go that far yet. He's not ready to hold the snake. I'm getting comfortable. Yeah, go here. ahead. Just touch him. He's so nice. He's very sweet. He's lovely. I think it's a he. We don't really know each other that well. <laughs> Feels good, right? Feels good. Feels not, yeah. not scary. The trainer said it was a he, he, and I said its name should be Alice. Alice, yeah, that's a good name for a male snake. Why not? You want to try holding him? I'm not ready for the hold, I don't think. You sure? Do you want to try holding like half of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ready? There you go. Nice and gentle. Yeah, look at that. See that? We will be back in one minute, and I'm going to get this snake onto Michael. Hey, we want to thank Dr. Bandler because look at Michael here yes, holding do. a snake. Isn't that something else? It's not scary at all. Can you try? Can you try it? Okay. 
to grab his head, right there. Grab his head there. There you go. Okay. Michael and a snake hanging out. I'm not kissing the snake, but that's not <laughs> But not till tomorrow. That's another session. <laughs> Perfect. I'm cured. All right. Okay, right now, I'm going to Central Park and I'm looking for snakes. <laughs>